Okay, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is by Dual PC Streaming Audio Setup. Um, basically, the purpose of this is to show you how using a fifty to sixty dollar audio mixer that you can get on Amazon or uh, Sweetwater, you can set up audio between two PCs with and just basically streamline the entire process uh, so that it's not software based, meaning Windows Update is not going to break these um, when you set these volume levels and everything. You're not going to have to mess with uh, inputs and outputs, you know, mix inside of the audio settings. You're all going to handle it here hardware based and I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's really, really much more simple than I thought it was. Um, I had seen streamers with similar mixing boards in front of them. Usually they're tend to be the high-end professional streamers, so I thought this was going to be a $1,000 uh, deal, but as I got looking into it, just out of frustration, uh, with every time Windows Setup came through and busted my settings and uh, started changing my mix outputs and everything, that um, it, it's actually a lot cheaper and um, much more simple than I thought it would be. This entire setup, everything I'm going to show you, um, assuming you have a regular set of headphones that work well for you, is going to run right around $100. Uh, the mixer's about half of that, and the other half is going to be just cables and adapters. Um, but I'll show you each step of the way, and I think this will end up being a much simpler way to show it than, than what I had to go through to learn it the first time myself. So, um, starting off, we're going to go with your microphone inputs. The two red, the two channels here I have highlighted in red. Um, this mixer has two microphone inputs. If you have a larger mixer, it may have more. Um, but on this mixer it has two. I, I traditionally, I'm going with an XLR microphone. This is the actual microphone that I have, the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice, and that's what I'm recording this on. Um, if my voice sounds awful, it's not the microphone. It's because I have a cold, but the the microphone's really good, and the best part is the microphone only costs like $20, 19 and change. Um, it's super cheap. Um, you get one of these cables here in XLR, depending on whatever length you need. I got six foot because I have it hooked to a, a boom arm, but you can get them in any length you need. Um, you plug the male end of it into the mixer here, and then the female end of it plugs into the bottom of the mic. This microphone is, um, I can't remember the terminology, but it's dynamic, I believe meaning it doesn't need this phantom power. So you want to make sure that that button on this mixer is lifted up and that this light is not lit um, because it doesn't need it and uh, potentially could cause damage if you're feeding it more voltage than it needs. These are your three EQ settings, um, high, medium, and low. It's pretty self-explanatory. Gain um, is the amount of boost to the microphone uh, depending on how far away you put it and things like that. You want to generally start this low and try and work it up as needed So, because the more gain you introduce, the more potential for noise. Pan is left to right, and this is your volume setting down here, this bottom gray knob. Um, on mine, it's I believe it's white top with the gray sides, but uh, both of these are the same. I have this, this microphone input one is the desk mic that I'm talking on. Number two, I have a wireless lavalier mic if I need to be away from my desk, but I still I uh, want my audio audio to go through, such as if I'm, you know, obviously doing something at the counter on the cooking show, stuff like that. Um, that's the microphone inputs. Pretty straightforward. I'll show you how to direct the audio, both the stream and also to your Discord or TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever you're using for voice chat. You can also, with this mixer, set it, and which is one of the great features, you can set it so that just your voice goes to Discord instead of your voice and your game audio, which can get very confusing for people that are also listening to the same game audio. But your stream will still get everything. It will get your voice and the game audio. And it actually sounds more complicated for me to just tell you it right now than it actually is to set it up. But I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, the next two channels, everything is the same. It's just a question of which machine you're talking about. With a dual PC setup, obviously, I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial, you know that one PC you play your game on, the other PC is basically just there to encode your stream to take that workload of encoding your 720 or 1080p video footage of your screen and sending it off to Twitch or YouTube or Mixer. Um, it takes that workload off so that your 
gaming PC doesn't struggle to, you know, hit an acceptable frame rate. To take your streaming PC audio or your gaming PC audio, you can use either one of these depending on whichever one you want. This is just the way I have it. Um, your gaming PC audio, you take this adapter here which has dual quarter inch jacks and 3.5 millimeter on the other end. You plug the two quarter inch jacks here to these line inputs left and right. Uh, the EQ you can adjust later if you need, whatever you, if it sounds not, doesn't have enough bass or doesn't have enough high end, that's fine. Set your, normally set your balance right up the middle because those tend to be pretty balanced. And this is your volume knob for that. The 3.5 millimeter headphone style jack is where you normally plug it right into the game, the uh, main speaker output on your gaming PC. Like if you were plugging in your desk speakers or your headphones. This doesn't work with USB. Um, but you can get a USB adapter that will adapt your USB headphones into your two uh, into your single um, headphone output. If you have a headset that has speakers and a microphone, um, you can get an adapter and just use the heads the speakers in your headphone um, because obviously your microphone will go through this XLR, or you can get an adapter and plug in the microphone input here. Um, there are all kinds of options with this. This is basically just an overview of how I've set mine up. Um, and like I said, the audio connection for your streaming PC or your gaming PC is the same. It's just a question of which computer you're hooking it into and making sure it's on its own channel. That's why I have the color coded here so that you can see they're both set up on different channels. So um, the streaming PC, you would have your audio for Streamlabs notifications, things like that. So or you can have your music playing on your streaming PC and it will go through that way. Um, this is your out output. This is all the audio that's going to go into your stream. What, when people tune into your stream, this is the audio they're going to hear. It's going to have your microphone inputs, um, whatever microphone you're using, and both the gaming PC and the streaming PC audio at the same time. You get another one of these cables, which would be the third one that you'd buy, three in total and you plug them into this main out jack and this is your main mix volume for this output and you would take this 3.5 millimeter end of this cable and plug it into the line in jack on your streaming PC um, all you have to do when you go into OBS or XSplit or whatever your streaming software of choice is is set up one input um, just make sure it's set to line in the line in jack on your streaming PC and everything else all your audio there's no adjusting everything else it's all done on the mixer after that point. So it simplifies the software side of it a great deal. Um, and again, like I said, if you're when you're listening to um, or if you're gaming and you want to chat with your friends at the same time, you're going to want just your, your chat and your, just your voice through the microphone output going to that. So you're going to have one microphone, but it's going to have audio going to two separate sources. One, it's going to go to your stream and two, it's also going to go to your voice chat, uh, like I said, through Discord or, you know, TeamSpeak or Skype. And the way you do that is whichever one of these channels you have your microphone plugged into, you're going to take this FX send knob, and this is sends your uh, that audio from this channel to a separate output. Instead of going to just the main out, it still goes to the main out, but it goes to the FX send as well. You take these two knobs and you set them to zero your gaming PC and your stream PC. Both of those are set to zero, so that audio is not going to go to this FX send output, just whatever microphone input you're using, whichever one of these, you just turn it up a little bit, and that way, obviously, you can adjust it uh, based on whether or not your voice is too loud or too quiet. Um, and the way you get that audio out of this is with one of these quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter uh, female stereo adapters. Um, you, I would buy a pack of five because you're going to need two of these anyways. And the price difference tends to not be that much between two or five of them. So I would just buy the five pack and that way you have extras. Um, you plug that right into that and it adapts it out for this jack here for traditional 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack. You get a cable that's male to male. Both of them have the, uh, the male post. Plug one end of it into this and take the other input and plug it on your gaming PC into your microphone. And then you go into Discord or, again, whatever application you're using for voice chat and set the micro just the default microphone as your, your uh, 
input and it works fine and again you have these knobs here that you can adjust if your stream and discord is too low volume I would adjust whichever knob this again these are all laid out vertically so if, if they're both quiet turn this knob up if it's fine on the stream but it's too low in discord turn this knob up and another handy feature of this setup is that you can use both a pair of headphones and your desk speakers and to do that you don't have to use you don't have to plug your headphones into the the, the desk speakers you don't have to change cables it's all plugged in you just turn knobs to turn volumes up and down um, again this is the other one of the adapters that you need plug it right into this headphone port here and then you're going to use just plug your headphones right into it with a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack um, like you would have for earbuds or or even um, less expensive headphones if you have headphones that are traditional like studio monitor headphones that they potentially have this quarter inch jack if that's the case obviously plug it directly into there and you should be fine this knob here is your knob to adjust the volume for both your headphones and your desk speakers most desk speakers have their own volume knob on them as well so I recommend if you're streaming and you want to have just your headphones on so that you don't want the audio going through your microphone and causing a feedback loop turn the volume off on the knob on your speakers on the desktop and then just use your headphones uh, you don't have to mess with this and you could just adjust this as needed um, this is how you hook up those desk speakers control room out is for your desk monitor speakers I say monitor speakers but basically any any computer speakers that you set on your desk to listen to that you would plug into normally plug into the green uh, jack on the back of your gaming PC you can plug them into this right here actually I should say um, you plug both of these quarter input jacks into this and then you plug your desk speakers into that um, like I said if you're listening to your headphones just take the knob on your desk speakers and turn it off um, and if you just hang your headphones up and turn your desk speakers back up um, I have the volume pegged on my desktop speakers and I adjust it right here you can turn it down as needed back up and everything um, and that's pretty much it um, once you have everything plugged in, uh, it may take you know a day or two to get your audio, your volume level set, but that isn't anything you weren't going to have to mess with anyways. The difference is that once you set it here, you don't have to mess with it again unless something else changes outside. But you know it really shouldn't because you know the audio levels are all going to be where you left them. Um, like I said, you can just simply peg everything on all like inside of OBS or XSplit you can peg that line in volume just turn it all the way up to, to max you can turn your desk speakers all the way up to max um, your gaming PC audio stream PC turn those all up to max and then adjust them here um, if you have too much noise you can go back and turn them down but um, it's generally easier to have everything to, to dial everything down right on the mixer um, you just set this mixer here lay it flat on your desk and then as you're needing it, um, you can just turn the knobs, adjust the volume, and uh, right on the fly. So it's super handy, and it saves a ton of issues with, like I said, Windows Update going through and messing up software-based solutions, or just, you know, something crashing. You know, there's just so much less issue with a hardware-based solution. Um, and there's also a USB version of this as well. But it's basically it just takes the perp, takes the replacement of this main out. Instead of using these, you would use the USB output and set that as your source in OBS. Those are the two differences. Um, but uh, even then, on the USB one, you still have this option. As in mine, the USB uh, I didn't really like the way it worked, so I just had this output plugged into the audio um, input line in jack on the uh, on my streaming PC, and it works great. So. Um, that's pretty much it, and uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, but um, you can obviously go back through and, and stop this and, and look at it at whatever, whatever speed looks best for you. So, uh, happy streaming.